Well, good morning, and we appreciate you staying with us again. As we said before, Dave and I are doing a special newscast for News 3 this morning. We are live in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, mm. for a special cause. That's right, and we're at the Community Partnership Southeastern Missouri as That's well. Right. And it feels like home. It's very homey in here. They have coffee yes. and drinks and food. But you know what, Abby? There is a lot to do in Cape Girardeau, as we've found out. That's Our right. Our Brooks Slyer has been out on the streets finding all of the fun things to do yes, in Cape. Yes, she has. Good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, right now I'm in downtown Cape Girardeau, and this is the historic district. And I'll be showing you some stops in this area a little later on in the show. But for now, I want to take you somewhere that's six miles away. This is the Cape Girardeau Nature Conservation Center. Inside is an 8,000 square feet exhibit highlighting life in the area. That includes animals like a two headed snake. That's a real eye catcher to native plants. The exhibit also highlights the history of the area, such as Native Americans and pioneers. Outside, there's more than two miles of trails, ranging from ADA friendly, which are paved, to others that are a little more challenging with hills. Leaders at the Nature Center say there's a little something for everyone. We get a pretty wide um, visitorship. Sometimes we've got um, different senior groups that come out and use our facility for different purposes. We also have a lot of families that come. On top of all of that, the Nature Center offers different educational and sometimes hands-on programs throughout the year. Those are offered to school groups and the general public. One of those programs starting in the fall is identifying wild mushrooms that are edible. Now, the center also puts on several events throughout the year, and one of those is spending a day down at the waterfront, and that's taking place in September. And Nick, it sounds like it would be a pretty warm day to spend the day at the waterfront.